Hello with History Hikers, I'm Dries. And I'm Jente. Welcome to the Chateau du Haute Ribopierre. A 11th century castle which was possibly built on older Roman foundations. Let's take you along. Haute Ribopierre is the last of the three castles of Ribovillet to feature on the channel. As the name suggests, it's also the highest of the three. It was here on this peak that during the 11th century a first enclosure was built on older Roman remains. It would be completely rebuilt in the 13th century when the nobles of Ribopierre erected a new castle. Haute Ribopierre then became known as Altenkastel, or Old Castle, which was probably a reference to the older enclosure. The entrance to the castle was exceptionally well defended with two drawbridges, one for carts and one for traffic on foot. This was protected by a barbican and overlooked by the enormous bastion to the east. The most interesting character in its history is Bruno de Ribopierre. In 1384 the English knight John Harleston was on a pilgrimage to Rome when he was captured and imprisoned by Bruno. The Lord of Haute Ribopierre had a bone to pick with the Englishman after he himself was captured and ransomed earlier by Harleston. Despite letters of safe passage from the Holy Roman Emperor, Bruno was not inclined to free his prisoner. It apparently caused a major international incident after Bruno placed himself under the protection of the French king. Harleston would rot in prison for three more years before finally being released. Whether he ever reached Rome, we can't say. Another famous prisoner was Philippe de Cruy, captured after the Battle of Nancy against the Burgundian Duke Charles the Bold and sold off for a hefty ransom. The entire site is overshadowed by the round keep dating to the 13th century. It's Dimensions feel enormous as it towers above you. The brick crenellation dates to the late Middle Ages. The castle is divided in two parts, a lower castle and an upper castle. The crenellation of the northern wall is still intact in places and the holes in the wall show that a large wooden structure would have rested against it. The upper castle, which used to hold the Lord's Manor, is sadly off limits to any visitors these days. At the beginning of the 16th century, the castle was abandoned though the keep would remain in use as a watchtower for fires and invading armies. It's clear that it's no longer in use, as our fiery castle passion went by unnoticed. Time for the arbitrary subjective castle score. What do you say? I'd say a six and a half. There is, well, there actually is a lot visible but the donjon is not accessible. Sad. I'm gonna say a 7, just because there's more visible than you'd expect. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your score in the comments. And like, comment, subscribe, and all that good YouTube stuff if you want to see more of these kind of castles. We'll see you next time. Bye!